Hello everyone, welcome to Drunk Disney Libation Studios, where I, the disembodied hands of Breckville folks, once again craft a delicious cocktail to pair with this month's Drunk Disney. Next week, James, Chelsea, Dave, and our special guest Max No Sleeves are watching Tarzan, a movie that features Disney's first Vine star. Get it? To go along with this African set movie, I'm going to make a red tea infused gin gimlet. Red tea, also called rooibos tea, comes from Africa, and the gimlet is made with gin, which, to go along with the colonial aspect of this movie, is quintessentially British. So let's do it. Now a gimlet is traditionally made with a lime cordial, a sweet, syrupy kind of mixture like Rose's lime juice. I don't love lime cordials because I think they're too syrupy, so I'm gonna use fresh lime juice and simple syrup. It accomplishes the same thing, but it keeps the freshness of the fresh juice. I'm gonna juice a whole lime, which is gonna get me about two ounces of lime juice. I really like the tanginess of fresh lime. I love the scent. It really goes a long way in this drink. To the lime juice, I'm gonna add a little over a half an ounce of simple syrup. It's really gonna help counter Interact the tartness of the limes. Now we're not gonna add our spirit yet because there's something special about that I'm gonna get to in a minute. So we're gonna add some ice and give this a good shake now. So we've shaken up our lime and our simple to combine that. Now I'm gonna set this aside while we do the next step, which is our spirit. So in my mixing glass here, I have a dark red liquid. This is actually red tea infused gin. I took some gin and some red tea and I measured out the two ounces that we're gonna use for our drink, dunked in the bag, and just let it sit for a couple hours. For infusions, it really depends what you're trying to do. You don't have to waste a whole bottle of liquor infusing berries or fruit or something for days or weeks at a time. This was really simple. It's gonna have a surprising amount of that red tea taste. Shaking gin can sometimes bruise the gin which maybe that does something, maybe it doesn't. But because we've spent our time to infuse this gin, I'm gonna stir it and make sure it's as good as it can possibly be. So we've cooled off our red tea infused gin, diluted it a little bit, we're gonna add it to our lime mixture, and I'm just gonna give this a really light shake to combine it. Cocktail glass with some fresh ice here. I'm gonna strain in the red tea and the limes give it this cool orange color, unlike any gimlet you've ever had. And there it is, the red tea infused gin gimlet. This is maybe the best drink that I've made on this show. James is nodding his head. Yeah. yeah. It's super light, it's super refreshing, it's really easy to make, it's just a few simple ingredients. You probably already have tea in your house. Give this one a try. I know the whole gang is gonna love it when they watch Tarzan, and I'm gonna really enjoy it right now. Make sure to tune in next week for Drunk Disney Tarzan, next month for new Drunk Disney Libation Studios, and subscribe to Practical Folks for all of our great content. We're doing Vita again this year, so you can look forward to daily vlogs every day in April from the whole Practical Folks team. Until then, I am the Disembodied Hands. Cheers. This is, this is the best one.